Okay, a few problems with getting the game started this morning. Uh, could be one of the DLC, uh, one of the mod files that I've put into it uh, off the workshop. Not sure, but we're, I've got it going now. <laughs> so hello and welcome everybody. Oh dear, what a start. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Um, yeah, not my normal start to a stream. Um, we've got no three minute music. We've got no countdown um yeah i was already behind my time for starting so i thought we'd just jump straight in and hopefully it's going to work because yeah i don't know i was stuck on the loading screen for a long time on the intro one very strange never had that happen before <coughs> oh excuse me Oh, excuse me. Alrighty, here we go. Okay. And pause for a start. Okay, so here we are in the park. Anybody that hasn't seen it before, I've just been randomly finding and placing objects for now, trying to get them in a rough sort of idea as to whether I want them. Um, oh, my stream has finally started, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> give me a second okay um that's off that's ready to go and enable timers thank you we should be good okay <laughs> what a start this morning anyway that's what it's like with live streaming okay so basically i was sticking a few ornaments down in here we've got a few dinosaurs at the moment the idea was to try and get a few prehistoric ornaments together because that's what i want to start the game with as far as my decorations that's what we're going to try to get to today well we won't be getting there today we're going to start on my plan um and then out into oh we said a few more dinosaurs um why am i pushing spacebar this is not imperial and you cannot go up that way um I can't get off the ground. There we go. Um, to our roller coaster out here. I really have problems with the navigation in this game. Sorry. Um, I've just gone to flight mode, which is the T button. Um, okay, we can go fast in that. Good. And then I put in an archway and we headed out and started getting some Western style things. So we've got horses and um, horses and hot dogs is that western i don't know we've got some cows <laughs> on a beer apparently um the castle is not terribly western but that's a ride theme um oh wagon train and we're just trying to get a few western style i don't know why we ended up digging into the ground i'm presuming it has something to do with that gun store i'm not too happy about it i wanted the ground flat out here uh but we'll worry about that later because we will be shaping the land and then out here, just a photo booth and a few Western decorations. Some of them don't make any sense now because like we've got power poles that go nowhere. Uh, but this was more just a case of looking for our decorations. Wagon trains that hover in mid-air. But none of that matters. Oh, blacksmith. Oh, wagon services. Oh, it's fixing the wagon train. Ah, oh, I hadn't even noticed. Okay. Um, well, yeah, so that was just getting a few bits and pieces together. To see what ornaments we have and what well, ornaments decorations we have and what we can work with so now what i'm going to try today i'm actually kind of wondering what i would get if i was to do something really drastic and go like that and then just hit the delete button does that actually tell me cannot move delete more than five amusement rides at a time why not seriously okay so what have i got 32 i thought i had more than 32. there's eight. Oh, this could be a hassle four five so okay it's not going to tell me 32 five seven i might end up reloading after this i just want to see what i get Oh, the movement in this game sucks. I want to go forward. 
forward game, please. Okay, let's try the other movement. Yeah, movement and pathing are the two things I have most trouble with in this. Nine. Okay, all I want to know is what I'm going to get if I sold everything and just started with a blank slate. Um, it's probably not a good idea, so I'll probably will end up reloading, but if I can start with a blank slate, means none of this is going to get in my way. Four, six. So I made bigger all out of it. Put it all back. Now, have I lost money now? Because I had three, two. So even if you go backwards to undo something, you still lose money. I lost 10 grand just going backwards. This game makes no sense when it comes to that. Okay. Um, it really doesn't like you going backwards on yourself. No parking live. Reload. Pretty sure that's the one we were doing. Oh dear. Hey, Insider. How are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Experimental day today. And Father Jack, how are you both? Welcome, welcome. Um... Yeah, a bit of an experimental day today. I want to try and start building my volcano in the middle. But I don't have a lot of money. And terraforming in this game is rather expensive. It's actually probably more expensive to terraform than to build a really good ride. <laughs> oh dear. So I thought for a start what I wanted to do was just delete everything and see how much money I can gain. My theory was... And I thought that I was going to start with 50. I thought I had 50 there. Uh, I only had 32. But my thought was, if I can get that up to 100, double my money, it's going to be worth it. But I only went from 32 to, what, 42? It wasn't worth it. Um, okay, so my plan for today, wow, this is going to be harder, even harder, is to basically take this path and take it straight up the middle. Then I want to try and work out roughly where the middle is. It doesn't have to be exactly, but roughly where the middle is. And put a volcano in. Um, 32. I really thought I had more money than that at the end. But anyway, um, according to when I loaded, this is the most up to date. Um, let's start getting research going, making sure that's going, because that's my priority. Okay, everything's good. Um, and how are we all today? Welcome, welcome. Um... That thing's old. Blue wild. It's still profitable. This one's not profitable. Psychola. Seven dollars. It's non-profitable. Wonder if we need to lower the price. I think I did lower the price to seven last time. I think I have actually. Okay, so let's just start her. Well, she is. Hang on. Yeah, play. Okay, movement. Right, that's what we're looking for. So yeah, my plan. I suppose we can start here because I didn't really like <clears throat> what kind of bugs me oh wait no I might have solved it oh I had done so many I got so many things off the workshop I think I might have solved it this kind of bugs me that you have that come out of the cave and that kind of makes no sense with the rest of my design um, but I might have actually solved that oh I downloaded so many bits and pieces now what would that be classified as scenery a shop in facility maybe uh let's try s p a w n spawn point yeah here we go spawn point two hundred dollars new so same price same price they're all the same okay so they're all basically the same thing by the looks of it now my theory if this works we can get them to spawn from anywhere we want. Let's just, for now, put it here. And input. Oh, and this is the other thing I noticed when I came in to have a bit of a play and I built my um, volcano in the middle. I have not been using natural paths. We need to use more natural looking paths because you only notice the borders. It's a pity you can't switch the borders off, but... You only notice the borders, so that makes them look a lot better. Um, okay. Now, these people are all going over to here. 
So has this become our new spawn point now? Yep, they're leaving from it. So new people should come in here as well then. Actually, it doesn't need two sides, Glenn. Only needs the one side. This path is a waste of time. Um, so that has solved this thing. I don't need this anymore. Um, can I delete any of that pathway? I suppose I probably can't. I'll just ignore it and hope it goes away. <laughs> we know it won't go away, but... Um, I need this thing. To work with it. They work together. Uh, so yeah, they, I've been doing a little bit of experimentation offline. Just to try a couple of ideas. Um, no! I'll put it back. Oh, and it goes all the way back over there. Hang on, let's move this. I want to figure this out, because if I can change my spawn point... Um, that means I can get a lot more into what I want to do with my design. Because at the moment I'm getting kind of bugged by the fact that I'm stuck with the spawn point going out through this way. And it goes into a cave, which makes no sense with any of my theme. Um... Now, which way around does this actually go, though? Didn't pay enough attention. I think it goes that way, doesn't it? No? You don't like that? Maybe it needs to be connected to the other bit? I don't know. I've never tried working with this bit. It's still red. It doesn't like it. Uh, it needs to snap to the pathway. It doesn't like it. Um, hang on. Can we just, for now, just stick it to the side. Now grab this. Aha! I think I've figured it out. Hey yo, yo, hey yo! Is that what you're wanting? There we go, I figured it out. Okay, so we can now spawn people wherever we want them. Excellent days! Hey, Stephen! How are you, buddy? Welcome. Okay, so that was a really stupid place to. Oh, and look! All that path's gone now. All that path's gone now. We'll just pretend that this bit doesn't exist or something. I don't know. Um. So that means, awesome, now I can do it the way I want to do it, finals. Okay, um, so I had ideas, I had ideas, I had plans, I had thoughts. Um, where are we going to do this, how are we going to do this? We'll put this out here for now, so it's out of my way. Okay, I like the fact that I now figured this out finally. Um, actually, let's put a pathway in. Because, yeah, this was something that just bugged me. The fact that I couldn't um, have people come in where I wanted them. And they came in from that mountain, which just made no sense to me. So we place this first. Oh, what happened? Move. That way around, I think. Oops. Doesn't need to look pretty for now. Just needs to be functional so that I can move it around later. Okay. That should now work. Make sure it works, and then we're going to start working on... Yep, there we go. Exit, entrance. Okay. Now I can start working on what I wanted to actually do. So let's clear the middle out. So I can put my pathway straight up the center. That's, what do you mean? Oh, I was too close to the edge. You didn't have the building in there, I hope. You've got something in there. 
What is that? I have no idea what you've picked up. Doesn't matter. Um, now, this was a staff building. We want to move this. Just out of the way for now. See, so, yeah, my plan is to basically put a path straight up the middle. And then start to build my volcano. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. But I have theories. <laughs> I have theories, he says. Um, oh, so I don't have to do it that way, though, now, Glenn. Whoa, I can do this however I want. Aha, uh -huh. even better. Um, <laughs> Glenn's, Glenn's catching up slowly. Um, okay, I had a really good day off yesterday. I slept really well. And I must admit, I'm still a little tired today. Um, but what I originally wanted, and I couldn't do it, because I didn't have the money, was to have a path straight up the middle, and an island in the middle, so that as the people came in, they had a full access of movement everywhere around the entire map, basically. Um, but now that I can move my spawn point wherever I want it, though, we can uh, do my full axis the way I want it, and then what the hell's on top of it? Oh, it's a dinosaur out there. Don't matter. All we're doing at the moment is just putting a path straight up the very middle of the game. So that from that middle path, I can then base everything out of hopefully somewhere close to the middle. Oh, the sign fell apart. Put the sign back. Advanced move. Nope. That's not it either. Okay, we want to pick the whole thing up as one. grab the sign and move it <laughs> okay all I'm doing is getting them out of my way so yes then I started the computer this morning and well the game this morning it did not want to start the game just stayed there frozen on the boot menu I was um, a little concerned, especially when my stream time was due to have started and I still couldn't get the game to start. What are you stuck here for? Oh, it's that. Okay. We'll move that out of the way. Put me out. Oh, you going to attach? Fine, attach. Don't care. Okay. From here, we can build a pathway straight up the very center. Should I buy the game or no? Um... I'm not sure what you'll like as a gamer. My thought to you would be it's a really cool game, but it's very fiddly with its path making and the view is kind of annoying when you're trying to move around. Um, if I could whisper in the developer's ear, those would be two things I would get him to reconsider. Um... If you can do the pathing easier, or you don't mind putting up with the way the pathing is, then yeah. For me, though, the pathing is kind of difficult, because it always tries to snap. However, playing around, that was something, now that you reminded me, I, I, I realized you don't have to have path snapping on. So I need to turn path snapping off, and maybe, just maybe, it's not going to cause me all the problems I've been having. So I need to try that out today too, because I complain a lot about the pathing. But it could be just a lack of understanding on my behalf. So maybe we need to try it without the path snapping, because I was mucking around the other day, and I discovered something. When I then discovered it, I then Googled, 
on well Google YouTubed something to see whether or not it was something other people were manipulating and I can't remember what it was, but after that, YouTube then started suggesting a couple of videos anyway. And there were a couple of things that I realized I was doing wrong. So like the path snapping was one of the videos that YouTube had suggested. Um, well, it was actually somebody else. I was watching him do his pathing. And he does some pretty cool pathing, actually. Um, so I'm going to try and use a couple of the ideas from his pathing methods, as well as what I discovered when I was practicing and mucking around the other day um, to try and achieve what I had originally intended because the first time I played this I got really intended uh, really intended really annoyed when I couldn't do good pathing because it was all snapping and yeah but the snapping that's the biggest thing for me so we'll turn that off today turn that right off is this thing profitable at all uh lifetime profit apparently it is for now i just want it out of my way so we can actually do this path right um because we don't need to use this now so what I can actually do is bring it in the way I want, but I'll incorporate it into that path so they work together and it makes sense as far as visually. I have a plan for that too. Um, I want to get rid of all that so it's not in my way. Right. So yeah, then when YouTube started suggesting a couple of ideas, it started to make me realise that I was doing things the hard way i was doing things in ways that didn't need to be done that way sort of thing and like path snapping was one of them um, another one i did show some of you the other day that i um realized off of youtube is you can clip things into the pathways not coasters not coasters we want pathways glint they're over here Okay, how far back? Oh, can I actually do that totally natural? Oh, I didn't realize that either. No, I can't. Obstructed. Okay, interesting, interesting. That's fine. But what I want, for now, this needs to be, yep, long and wide. And then I want my angle snapping on, is it? No. Hang on. For now, I just want it to look relatively natural. I can always change it later. Oh, we've run into the mountain, Glen. I heard she'll be going, coming around that eventually. Let's now go up, maybe. Because I don't really want to terraform yet out here. All I want is a path up the middle so I know roughly where my middles is. Oh, this is costing me big bucks, though. And this is costing me big bucks, isn't it? Hang on. Let's see what it costs me. Uh, where does it show me? 35596. 100 bucks. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, so that's the end. That's the end as we know it. That's going to give me a rough idea on how big my park actually is. See, I could eventually put that... Oh, no, because I don't really... I might turn this into an actual main path later on. Um... Hey, Arjun, how are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Glenn's not paying enough attention to chat today again. Um, hola, senor Bixley. <laughs> how are you, buddy? Welcome, mate. Welcome. And Crypto, hey, hello. Should I buy the game? Okay, there's that question again. Hello, mate. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, I'm doing really well, thanks, Arjun. A little sleepy this morning. Uh, after my day off yesterday, I am just 
feeling totally relaxed and chilled out. <laughs> Did you get plenty of coffee? I do have a good coffee right next to me. Um, should I buy the game? I would never tell anybody that they should or shouldn't buy the game. What I will tell you is I really like the game. Uh, the creativity side of it is awesome. However, I do have problems with the pathing, as I was just saying before. But I've been doing the pathing wrong. I need to stop snapping my pathing so much. Um, oh, that's what I was thinking. The grid. Now, uh, align to grid. This is what I was looking at the other day. Selecting the grids and aligning to the grids. Now, yeah. This is what I need to use. It'll help me build. Um, so yeah, the biggest problems I have in this game are building. And... Well, building the pathways the way I want them, which turns out to possibly be my mistake. And the other one is the movements. You've got two different types of movements, which makes it kind of awkward sometimes. Um, with the normal movement, it's very slow movement. And it snaps you around the screen. Whereas you can press T and fly in God mode, but it yeah, it's kind of, you've got to use a combination of the two. It makes it kind of weird. Um, the creativity side of the game, though, I really like. I must admit. Right, so I want to try and find out roughly where my center is. That's what we're wanting to do. No, that's why the grid's going to be helpful, Glenn. It's going to help. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Forgive me for a second. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 21, 22, 23. Oh, maybe not. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 42, 43, 45, 6, 7, 8, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 70. So around about 70 squares. Okay. So around about 35, 40 will be our center. I want to work out where the middle is. It doesn't have to be exact. And then work out from there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. So somewhere around here should be our middle. It doesn't actually look like the middle, but we'll start out here anyway. Okay, we're going to start around here apparently. So my basic plan, as I say, what happened there? Oh, okay, it's just trying to snap. Is to build a volcano around my pathway in the middle here. And then build my park out from that. So that I can branch in every direction. At the moment, I'm very stuck to one place. So I have to build either keep coming around this way or I have to start coming around this way. Now, the reason I've not come around this way too much is I want that clear space so I can build out there when I start to actually build. But yeah, no, the creativity side and everything, I absolutely love in this game, mate. Um, why are you snapping? Ah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now this is where I have problems. See, it's snapping to everything. Now, what was it I saw on that video? He presses, is it the Z key? Yeah! No, was it the Z? It's still not. It's still not. Was it X? He was pressing a key. Was it control? Ah, come on. You can do it. No. What? Why are you not? Okay, weird. Oh, no, nah, sorry, my mistake. The path is gone. I'm trying to delete this. It's just empty space. My mistake. Um, so I'm still trying to learn 
some of the pathing. I think we want probably this one. We want it five meters wide by 10 meters. No, don't snap. So is that Z? Okay, okay. So, I mean, it didn't really look like the middle to me. I don't know. I reckon it's not the middle, eh? Let's start up here somewhere. There. So my plan... Now see, ah, okay, okay, that's where I'm also going wrong, right, angle snap. Um, I've got to learn these angle snaps, and then we'll, I'll get better pathing. The other thing I did wrong when I played this the first time was I tried to build everything in the sky. Uh, that wasn't working terribly well either. Okay, um... Did I delete that? Yes, I did. Uh, have another coffee. Yeah, well, I do actually have my coffee here. I should have a couple of mouthfuls of it before it goes cold, eh? <laughs> DM me on Discord later, mate. Okay, buddy, no worries. It's about the stream element bots. It needs sorting somehow. My stream elements bot? My stream elements bot is... Oh, hang on. I've just noticed... Hang on. Message deleted by stream elements. View holler. Oh, it's because he had a dot in there. Ah, my, my bots have been told to basically exclude anything that includes a hell of a lot of words with dot, uh, dot something in it. So if you've got holler written like that with a dot in it, my software looks at that and goes, that could be a link. Nah, get rid of it. So no, that's, no, nah, the stream elements is doing what it's supposed to do, buddy. Um, but yeah, welcome, Crypto. Uh, try to avoid using full stops in starts of words. That's what it is. If you've got a full stop at the end of a word, my bot's not going to have a problem. But if you have the full stop at the start of a word, my bot thinks it could be a link and goes, nah. But yeah, I just hadn't noticed that the bot had blocked it. I Because on my chat, it shows up, you see, you see. So when I was reading my chat, I saw the holler. <laughs> but cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Now, why are you snapping? Oh, I don't even know. See, now this is not in the same place I just put the other path. Game, what are you doing? Is it something to do with the angle snapping? I've got to figure this angle snap thing out because it's really bizarre. Maybe it was, no. Is it this angle? I don't know. But so, yeah, I just, I have a lot of problems with the angle snapping in this game. I really do. Okay, but this isn't going to matter, because we don't have this eventually here anyway, Glenn, with your plan. So I don't know why you're mucking around with the centre. All I was trying to do was find the middle. Ah, uh, I do apologise. My brain is not functioning. Um, I'm going to put a fountain here. That's my plan. I want to put a fountain right in the centre of town. No, it wasn't a fountain. Oh, no, that's downstairs, Glenn. We do that downstairs. Um, I want to try and go downstairs if I can. I know you can tunnel. So what do I want? Scenery. I think it's scenery, isn't it? Hey, look at that. I've clicked the button and no sceneries are appearing. Wow, that took a long time. Uh, we want a fountain. But yeah, I couldn't really tell anybody to buy this game or not buy this game. It'd be up to you. Um, I don't know what it costs. Um, I don't know what your money situation is. It's a really good game. If you're considering it, the part things I would certainly say to you are a pain in the A is um, the pathing and the movement but if you can get past that it's a really good game rising water animated colorable rising water I don't know if we need rising water I just want a simple water fountain where do we find water fountains nature 
I freaking downloaded a whole bunch of them. What are they? If they're not scenery, what is they? Are they buildings? Um, that's where I also have problems with this game too. I didn't think about that until right now. Um, navigation, finding things, isn't necessarily easy. Especially if you like me, you can't spell for peanuts. Um, it wouldn't be a building. No. I mean, fountain. Freaking heck, F-O-U. I know that's how you spell fountain. <laughs> Why are we not finding any fountains? <laughs> Sorry, we're in, se in shops now. Go back to scenery. Yeah, no. Oh, why is it? Maybe because I'm putting way too many things off the workshop. It seems to be taking a very long time today. Maybe it's because they're off the workshop. It also could be, I wonder if it's confusing some of my workshop items and putting them on the wrong hard drive now because i switched drives for my steam library i hope not um see now why am i not getting fountain i know i can i know I'm a terrible speller but isn't fountain f-o-u-n uh glenn can't spell but this is just annoying me. I, I'm freaking sure that's how you spell fountain. And then it starts making me think I'm dumb because I don't know how to spell because I can't find something. Yeah. Um. F O U E. Exactly, but it's not coming up. F O U. And as soon as we get to there, there are no freaking fountains. So it's not me then. It's the freaking navigation on this thing. Oh, would it be in toolkit items, maybe? Oh, it could be in toolkit items. See, everything's all over the place. It's like House Flipper. If you want to build a kitchen in House Flipper, you have to go through utilities. You have to uh, go through um, furniture. You have to go through... Uh, decorations, you have to go through wall items, you have to go ah! why can't I just go to kitchen <laughs> why can't I just go to kitchen and get all the kitchen items oh, we're still not getting it we're still not getting it, I don't know why these menus have to be so confusing or maybe I'm just dumb but I don't know how to find a water fountain um, I don't think it checks mod work uh, um, when you say mod words yes uh, if you mean stuff from the workshop yeah it does so here's one here um is that what you mean i don't know <sighs> i find it so hard to navigate so those are the problems i have but other than that the creativity of the other game is bloody brilliant they know it's wearing um Is it a prop? It'd be a prop, wouldn't it? But yeah, especially when you've got thousands of items off the workshop. Because I've been sitting there, you know, I like I'll be watching a video and then all of a sudden I think, Oh, I want that! And then I quickly go onto the workshop and I download it. But I don't just download one, I get six or twelve or, you know? <laughs> and it makes the navigation really hard. Oh, and then you spend so much time wasted trying to find things when all I want to do is type in water fountain and have water fountains suddenly appear all over this freaking menu. <laughs> Why is that so complicated, game? <laughs> I don't understand why I can't just do that. See? W-A-T-E-R. There are no fountains. And yet I downloaded like at least six water fountains. But the game can be bloody brilliant. It really can. I just don't know how to fucking find any goddamn thing when I want to find it. Um, calm down, Glenn. 
Uh, no stream elements doesn't stop the check on words like holler that crypto did and deleted all his messages, does it? Uh, okay. I hadn't noticed that it had done it on all of them. Okay, welcome though, Crypto. Welcome, welcome. You're not being ignored, mate. Um, I'm not sure why my bot is doing that. Oh, no, hang on. Did that text get deleted to start with? Or, as I suspect, when he done the ho.la, the bot probably just deleted everything. Try water fountain. Yeah, no, that's not working either, mate. I don't know. Um, can't you do a search on all items? Well, isn't that what this is? All blueprints. I mean, that's the problem. You've got all blueprints. You've got all rides, all shops, all scenery, all buildings. <laughs> what was that listed as? I mean, to me, it's scenery. You know? But, yet again, no water fountain. I'm getting uh, water lilies. But where are the freaking half a dozen water fountains that I downloaded? My theory was just put a freaking water fountain in the middle, put the paths around it, and it was going to take you two minutes, Glenn, and now you've spent, what, 30 minutes trying to find a water fountain. But, oh, this is where the game really frustrates the shivers out of me. Simple things that should be simple and not simple. And yet, when you do it on the workshop, don't get me wrong, if you're looking for it on the workshop and you type in water fountain, it lists them all for you. There are dozens of them on there. The workshop is brilliant. How the hell do you find them in the game menu? <laughs> I can find them on the workshop. No problem. I can find hundreds of them on the workshop. I just don't understand... How to find them in the freaking menu. What does this do? It doesn't do anything. I haven't got any DLCs, maybe. Well, I mean, that'd be why. I mean, I, I, okay. It lists one thing as being a DLC. Um, oh, I'm just going to have to get on with it and carry on without that. But this just bugs me that I can't find things when I want them. It really does. And I've wasted half an hour now trying to find a fountain. So it makes me think, is there any point downloading half this crap off the workshop if I'm never going to find it in here? Sorry, guys. I've just spent the last couple of days downloading these things and I had all these bloody ideas that I wanted to put into action. And now I'm sitting there for half an hour trying to find a water fountain. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't understand why, game. It's a simple thing to find. I should be able to type in water or fountain or water fountain. And you should be able to list it. You should be able to show me all six. Or whatever I've downloaded. I don't understand why this is so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> but I am starting to remember why I quit the game the first time. So this is also why I won't tell you yes or no you should buy the game. The first time I played the game I got really angry with it. And I just quit. I had enough. It pissed me off for many reasons. The pathing, the movement, trying to find things. I shouldn't have to sit here for half an hour scrolling through the entire menu just to try and find one freaking water fountain. <sighs> yeah. 
yeah, I don't know. It's a really good game. Don't get me wrong. It really is. But then there are also many things to the game where I, I would love to actually turn around to the developer and say, what the hell was going through your head when you programmed it that way? Seriously, mate? Were you on drugs? <laughs> That's not a good excuse either. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have to give up on my bloody water fountain idea, Adam and I. Oh, this pisses me off. I had so many ideas on how I wanted to do things. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's a good game, but I definitely couldn't recommend it to you if it makes me angry all the time. When all I want to do is enjoy the bloody thing. <sighs> you shouldn't have to spend half an hour trying to find one decoration. You shouldn't have to get angry trying to find it. Those are things that to me make no sense. And if I was the developer... I would have programmed it in where when you push the infinity symbol and you type in the word fountain, you'd get everything with the word fountain in it. You'd get water fountains. Oh, drinking fountains! See, that's another bloody one I downloaded. They should all be coming up when I type in the word fountain. If there's a fountain of youth, that should come up. If there's something that just has the word fountain in it, like with fountain in the middle of it, that should come up too. But... It's a great game. Don't get me wrong. It really is. It's just really bloody frustrating. Okay, I'm going to give up on this because I'm getting annoyed. What is that? No idea. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This has just completely thrown me out now because I can't find what I want. I can't find any bloody thing in this menu. It's so complicated. I don't know whether I want custom, whether I want blueprint. I don't know whether I want decorations. I don't know what I bloody want. Okay, here we go. Now I'm starting to find some. It shouldn't be this complicated game. I should be able to just type it in and get the lot. Fire fountain, cannon fountain. I'm not seeing these ones. Lit, lighted fountain. That's what we're looking for. Some lit up fountains. And I can't see it. There we go. I can't even get it. I shouldn't have to be putting that pin number in. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to be putting... Oh, give me a second, guys. Now with Steam wants my PIN number, because I have an adult protection thingy doodacky on. Um, and now I can't get this off the screen. Okay, we're on... Sp Nothing's going right for me today, is it? This is live streaming, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Um, Give me a second. I need to switch off screen capture. Uh, give you guys game capture so you can at least see the game. And this is why I tell most people never use screen capture. Always use game capture so people don't get to see your freaking passwords. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is going well today. Yes, it's four lit four numbers. They all are. Okay. Now Steam is logged in. Can we get out of the way, please, Steam? I'd like to get back to my game. Um, wow. Can I have it now? No, I'm still not allowed it. Then bugger off, will you? Unsubscribe. I don't care. If you're not going to let me have it, I don't care right now. I'm not in the mood to deal with it. I think I just deleted the wrong one. You can go and delete too. Go away. We're going to have a basic fountain because this whole rigmarole is just starting to bug me today. 
Um, fire fountain? See, why am I not getting these things? Is this all the ones that had problems and why the game didn't load to start with, is it? Is this why I had problems with the game to start with? Maybe it could be. Unsubscribe. Go away. Wow. Can we have this one at the very least? Because all I want is a freaking fountain and we've wasted enough time, game. You've aggravated me enough. You've wound me up enough. How about we just have some fun for a change? Far out. Can I recommend that people buy this game? Not when you've been pissing me off for half an hour, game. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what a day. Okay. Can we at least get somewhere with this? All I wanted, and I didn't think it was that much to ask. Is it Z? No, was it Control? Why are you now snapping? I stopped that before. How did I stop it? How did I stop it before? Oh, game. No, there we go. Oh, you're just being difficult. Stop snapping to everything, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think I can even do what I'm trying to do. I really don't. Um, no, please don't snap. Please. I mean, I watched the video the other day and he was not snapping to any bloody thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Can you recommend this game? After wasting hope an hour trying to just put in a frigging fountain and not snap some paths. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a great game. It's just really frustrating. I wish I could whisper in the developer's ear. I really do. It doesn't need to be this frustrating. It doesn't. It really doesn't. <laughs> There's no need for it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, you can snap them together, but with a curve, please, game. You're going to give me freaking angles now. It's going to look awful. Because I don't really want people walking into the fountain was my idea. Because then it's just going to look silly. Right. It's not quite right here, but I'm done for arguing with the game for today. Uh, try statues. Yeah, could have been in statues, actually. It might have been. Yeah. Uh, game logo on screen. Oh, cheers, mate. Um, <laughs> it's been a long days. <laughs> okay, so we now finally, after all that mucking around, have a pathway in the middle. What did that just cost me, by the way? Oh, we're still on 32. Okay. Let's bring this back because I don't want to snap to it right now really annoys me that everything keeps snapping so yes holding down the control key sort of kind of doesn't snap sort of kind of doesn't <laughs> <laughs> oh no okay so custom we want a custom shop Whew. okay we're getting somewhere actually no let's go with the blueprint one for Let's start with drinks here. Get rid of the FOU. And let's, why am I not? Okay, now, oh, I want a move game. I want to, on a scroll. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. You're not so silly after all. Um, what on earth is that, Glenn? Colourful gravel. Oh, there you go. Okay, not really looking. What is that? 
Adventure Cosmic Cow. Let's have a look at you. Are you... So got a tree in the middle. It's not very exciting, is it? The tree roots, though. It kind of works. Okay, we can remember you. Tree roots works with my theory of it being underground. Spooky crypto shop. So it's a crypt. Okay. And I can't see all these ones, which are kind of annoying. So what we'll do... One of my theory is, is based on my shops... Out from the center here. So where's the doorway into this one? That side, okay. So if I now rotate this around... Um, put that in the middle... Instead of where the pathway was. And then put the pathway around it. So there's actually two layers of path, basically. Um, that's okay, isn't it? I'll rotate it a little. Yep, that'll do. What? DLC required? Oh, you freaking ickin' ickin' hell. No, I didn't even notice that. How do I delete this? Why can't I delete this one from the workshop, but I can delete all the others? Unsubscribe from the others? Oh, you, you're a weirdo game. Seriously, you're a weirdo. Oh, I can delete all the others, but I can't remove that one. <laughs> Oh, there's just things about this game. There's just things about this game. <laughs> what more can you say than there are just things about this game? Oh, no. I might have to just go generic. And put my own decorations around them later on. No, that was a crypt. It's not really... Oh, I suppose I could. Spooky crypt. I'd rather do that downstairs, though. Yeah, no, I'd rather do that downstairs. Okay, so let's go to custom. So, stop wasting so much time. Okay, we want drinks. Custom drinks. Right, so we have Cosmic Cow Shakes and a vending machine. No, we want Cosmic Cow Shakes. Because this is where our shops are going to be, in the middle. I want to bring them back a little bit so my paths don't snap to each other but also so that I can have a bit of scenery around it oh uh, and now I'm trying to look at these things to line these up get them roughly the same okay so we'll snap that Oh, true, I've got snapping on. Um, we want food. Wow, and there are all these for food. Okay, so what do we have? Chef's beef, cosmic cow ice cream. That's an ice cream. That's not food. Hot dogs, pizza. Okay, so we want burgers. We'll do burgers. Uh, is that grid thing supposed to be on? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think it's going to hurt. Uh, but I can't rotate this building. So maybe it is going to hurt. Done. Ah, I see the problem. Done. Right, yes, yes, done. Finished. Finitos even. Okay, they were trying to make them two buildings into one building. Not what I wanted. So this will basically be my centerpiece, is the theory. 
And then I'm going to build my volcano up around it. Because when I had a to-do the other day, play, I should say, it turns out you can basically build your mountain however you want. It doesn't have to be realism to it. Oh, that's what I should be doing, using the grid snaps. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What would that one be then? That actually comes out almost two. Ah, oh, yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What we want to do... What I want to do... Hang about. I'm right out. So, I can't do it. I was trying to put it onto there. Won't work. So that's one, two. Go out two. If they're all two, I'll know exactly, roughly. Exactly, roughly. So one, two. In theory, this is right. Hot dogs out this side. No, pizza on that side. Oh, not in the same building, Glenn. Done. Hot dog squad out here. Is that the front? Okay. About there. Is that roughly our middle? And then I'll put a pathway around the outside of these. And then on my theory, according to what I tried the other day, oh, no, 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 not the height. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I put that back? Mm. Oh, whatever game. Um, Back. Where's that grid thing? Where's that grid thing? Where'd that go? Where'd the grid thing go? Angle snap. No, not a path. It's a freaking building game. Oh, what are you doing? The game does weird things sometimes. We were on a hot dogs. And all I wanted was the grid snappy thingy on. <laughs> Right, game. Can we not play silly beggars, please? So in theory, if I go back, are you going to give me... You're not showing those grids now. Why is it not showing the grids? What have I done wrong? Why am I not getting the grids now? See, this is what I don't understand about the game. The grids worked for these. But now suddenly I can't work out what I've done wrong and I can't get the grids. There's no grid option. There's weird things about this game. There really is. I oh, now I've got the grid option. <laughs> Woo! You're a freaking weird game. <laughs> One, two. Why? Just tell me why there was no grid to start with, game. Okay? Explain it to me. I don't understand. <laughs> no, I want ice creams. Is ice creams considered food? Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was going to do... Hang on. We're done with this. What have we got? Milkshakes. Hot dogs. Beef. Ice creams. Ice creams. Right. There's just weird things about this game. See, now it's doing it! <laughs> three out of four times ain't bad! Is that what we're going for? That old slogan, three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that was about. I really don't. I really don't. Wow, that took about probably an hour longer than it needed to. Uh, more shops. 
and none of this, I don't even know if any of this is even going to work. And now I've got a car alarm going off. Excellent. Um, pizza shop goes behind the ice cream shop. This was the ice cream shop, right? Yes. So, pizza shop goes behind the ice cream shop. <laughs> the day when Glenn starts arguing with it is the day two people say you would, <laughs> would you recommend it? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay, so we'll have a little alleyway down there maybe. This is gonna be end up a really big mountain, Glenn. Oh, that's going to have to, I'm going to have to be, a, it's going to have to be a no in amount, isn't it? So if I come out one, one shot worth, roughly, doesn't have to be freaking precise. Oh dear. Oh, wait, what is this one? This is beef. Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Hot dogs. So behind the beef, we want... Probably a gift shop. What? There are no obje objects researched yet. Oh, that sucks! What we'll do is we'll put in a milkshake. Just to get the path. No, we'll do that later then. Um, okay, so if we're not doing a gift shop. Information? I've got no information either. Oh, come on, game! Seriously? <laughs> oh, no. That kind of blows my plans a little, too. What are these? Oh, Burrito Bonanza! That sounds like us. Now you were what? No, we want, don't want burritos. We don't want food and hot dogs. Cosmic milkshakes. Right, so Burrito Bonanza. Oh, no, that's the DLC symbol. So these are all DLCs. Wolf's Lear Pack. Buy now. Oh, pa poo poo pa 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 That's all I have to say about that. I'm kind of annoyed that they're all freaking DLCs. I didn't even notice. Cosmic Cow ice cream. Um, we'll do hot dogs. That bugs me. It means I don't have the shops I want. One, two is roughly there. What are you? Your hot dogs. Um, see, now, wow, this is not going, this is going to cost me more money than it needs to now, game, oh, actually, do the 90 degree snaps all I need, um, 90, 90, 90, there we go, so one is there, two would be out here, Okay, I did all that just so I can get the path about right. Didn't do one over there. Spaghetti. I'm only putting half of these shops in so that I can get my spacing. 
one two would be roughly there could have gone a little bit further out no you want to snap there anyway i don't care again whatever do it it's fine sick of arguing with you today right <sighs> so all of that was to get my space now my hope is and i don't even know if this is going to work why are we getting angle snap length for a start what okay please do not snap to this path all the time the path i want you to snap to is out here it's not going to do it though i might have to put one in the middle out here to get them to snap to this well that sucks <laughs> it's not exactly curved very well it's not what i had envisioned that's better now you're getting your curve on game Now you're getting your curve on. Oh, that one didn't work though. That one's not going to work though. <laughs> so cool. Uh, should be around about here, I guess. Oh, come on. You were doing so well on the other side. <laughs> This game is bonkers, mate. <laughs> There's just things about this game that don't make sense. <laughs> oh, dear. All I want you to do is just curve a little bit more. And then when I hit that, it doesn't work. Okay, let's see if... All I wanted was to do it like a wagon wheel. I mean, really, shouldn't that be easy enough to do? You know what I mean? It's not that complicated. It's really not. Um, off to bed. Okay, mate. Have a good night. <laughs> it's a bit of a weirdo stream tonight. But yeah, have a good one, bud. Oh, dear. Why am I not getting this curve the way I want? Come on, game. It wants to do a straight line on this side and a curve on this side. You're nearly there. That'll do. I'll settle for that. Whew. I'll settle for that. Come on, game. Come on. Delete that. <sighs> it's better. If we get rid of this one, which just looks awful, it might be okay. Might need to do this end again. Yeah, I really didn't think it was going to take all this work and effort just to put in a fountain and a couple of buildings around it. And that's where the game bugs me. There's some parts of the game are just so more, much more complicated than they need to be. If there was a circle mode on this, where you could just build your paths into a circle 
I would have been done like an hour ago. Place it. There we go. CJ subscribed on YouTube. With hey, welcome, welcome CJ. CJ. You're a bloody legend. Welcome, mate. Welcome, CJ. Um, right, I think we've got something close to a curve. It's not a very good curve, but it's close. It's close. Right, we can delete this. We don't need this one either, do we? Hot dogs. No, we don't need another hot dogs. We don't need two of them. Um, what was this one? Pizza. We've already got a pizza, haven't we? Cosmic Cow. Chef's Beef. Hang on, what? Milkshakes and ice cream. Yep, 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 yep. Hot dogs. Milkshakes. Don't need another one. So I'm going to delete some of these. It was a bit of a waste of money, but they were more to try and get me my spacing than anything. Okay, so we have hot dogs, ice cream. No, milkshakes. That's ice cream. That's burgers. And that's pizza. Okay, so we'll keep the pizza. And now that I've got my spacing, I know roughly where my buildings and everything are going to be around the outside of this wagon wheel once it finally gets built. Or at least that was the plan. Where's that grid thing again? It's not going to give me that. Not until I place it, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works either. So if I place it now, and now pick it back up, will you give me the grids? No. I don't know. Oh, I'll have to figure it out by eye. I'm not getting the grids again. Seems sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. Uh, can we not snap? Uh, angle snap. Off. That's better. Um, okay, take that back a little. I reckon about there. Okay, hopefully that's going to work. Hopefully that's going to work. And my idea is to have my shops in a circle around the middle here. Wow, that was a lot more complicated than it needed to be. But hopefully this is going to work. So now that we've got that. Oh, no, that's where the path needs to be, really, isn't it? No, actually, that's where the path needs to be. Now that I think about it, because we're, because we're doing this wagon wheel, I really need to have my path. I got the right one. Make sure I got the right one from here. Out. Uh, control key to stop it from snapping. Why does it just not want to give me... That'll do then, game. I don't care. It's good enough. Let's come out this side. And then the theory is it's just like a bit of a wagon wheel in the middle. And then I'm hoping that I can build a volcano over top. I don't know if it's going to work. It's all going to be experimental. I'm certainly no expert at this game. I'm... Learning as I go, which is why I get frustrated a lot, because there's a lot of things I don't quite understand, like why I don't always get the grid, why I can't stop it from always snapping, but that so far is starting to work. Starting to. Okay, yeah, you can go either on one of these side paths, which is probably what's going to make more sense, actually. So what we'll do is bring you around to a side path like that, I think. Oh, no, you can fit there. Go right to the end of your tether. There we go. I could possibly bring the others in so that they're about the same distance.
about there. Like that. Like that, he says. Um, are we on the correct side? No, we're not. So let's head over to here. Because the bottom of the map will be the first place I work. So a lot of this that I've been doing here is just spacing. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Start. Cancel that. What do we got? Can we get rid of the cursor thing? Go away! <laughs> I already it escaped like six times and it wasn't going away. Chef's beef. Okay. Milkshakes. I'll get onto that chat in a second. I just want to get something down here so this is starting to make sense. Otherwise, I've just wasted so much time and achieved nothing. But I will get to that chat very shortly. If there's anything there. Last I saw was uh, Father Jack going to bed, I think. Um, off to bed. Yeah, thanks for subscribing, CJ. Welcome, mate. Righty. Uh, where's our entrance? Out that way. So you... Ice creams, yes. Okay. So what we're going to end up with is basically a wagon wheel sort of look. And the shops in the middle. And then as they come around this path, then there'll be shops around the outside of there. But then there'll be some space in the middle for decorations and stuff. That's the theory. That's the plan. Um, theories and plans don't always work. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so what is this one? Pizza. I like pizza. Pizza is my favorite vegetable. Honest. Oh, hang on, wait, stop. Um, come into here. Oh, I see there's a bit of pathing already there. Is that what's going on? Can we get rid of... Thank you. Yeah, that pathing's going to screw us up. Thought it might. You're going to have to escape twice or three times to get out of that. Okay, grab that, so our distance would be about there I guess, to be roughly in line with the others, and about the middle. And hot dogs, pizzas, hot dogs. Now it's different. Why is it different? There's definitely a difference, isn't there? I have a feeling it has something to do with that inner path. I'm not going to get too concerned by it, but... Now yeah, it's taken out my central path, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Not what I actually intended, game. And now you want to bend it that way. Can you not bend it like Beckham and go the other way? Because this was working just a moment ago, game. It was. And it's not going to go back. Ah, oh, route. All I want is this little bit here. Okay, near enough. And all I want is this little bit. Okay, I think we've fixed it.
The curve's not quite right, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get too concerned, because once it's under the hill, most of this is not going to be visible anyway. Does that look about right? It looks about right. Okay. So. No, track ride. We want a train. Just an ordinary looking train. What? Old track end. That's not a ride. Track ends, track ends, train. Oh, we want custom. So there we go. A steam train. Oh, we've got cars as well. Oh, so I can do both. Ah, I didn't think I had cars yet. And that was going to come later on. Okay. Oh, and we've got some water boats. Steamboat Adventure Island. DLCs, Glenn. DLCs. It's all DLCs. Ah, oh, I didn't even freaking notice when I grabbed it all. Rapids. And Log Flume. I had thought about doing... No, we'll do the train down at ground level. That was the original plan. That was the original plan. And the plan being... Um, where's our entrance? Our entrance is down here. We want to be down here. And we want a train station. No, no, that way. No, hang on, stop. Use the angle snapping. Track rights. Track rights. Custom. Train. Zeta angle snap. Right. Now the question is, how far out do we really want this thing? So what I'm thinking is we have the train like here and then it becomes a ride that comes down here and then loops back around. So we would want this down about here, I reckon. Where's the station platform? There. So it really needs to go 90, 90. And then we want to go up a little. So that it looks like a, st a station platform, is what I'm thinking. Okay, so what I'll actually do... Let's bring that back and let's start to shape. Because I want to have some sort of shape uh, to my land. So, terrain. Sculpting. Intensity down. Let's try 10% size, 6 meters. Have that out about here. Let's move it back further. Oh, I can just do this side, Glenn. Out about here. No, I think I will just move this back. Because I don't want to be going that way. I really don't. Not just yet. I can't afford it. That doesn't look true to my... Oh, it's pretty close, but that does not look 90 degrees to my pathway. I really wanted it 90 degrees to my pathway. It's still not right, is it? Hmm. 
there. Right. Out to about there and bring it back. Okay. So my theory is terraform. Pull the land up. Intensity of 10, 6 meters. And have what? I'm not even noticing that. That's really low. I want my train station risen up slightly. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Pipe won't raise it to the path. Is that what's going on? Ah, gotcha. Okay. Okay, well, that's about right. Smoothen it out. Oh, flatten, not smooth. Flatten to surface. Okay, that's that's going to work. It's in the wrong place. We need to come right out. We need to come right out to here. This mountain's going to cost me freaking fortune. Okay, we can bring the size up now. Oh, not that big. Okay, now if I start my train station on top of the rise. Is that still on the right angle? Why does it look like the angle has now changed? Oh, it's the right angle. Okay. So the idea is to have my train station out about here somewhere. Uh, can I flatten to ride? Isn't that an option somewhere? Flatten to foundation. It's not exactly flattening to the foundation. What are you doing, game? Seriously? I don't even know what's going on. It's supposed to be flattening to the surface, but it's not exactly doing that either. Okay, let's forget about it. Let's build our freaking rails. Wow. Yeah, there's, there's things about this game I don't understand. I just, that's as simple as I can put it. There's things I do not understand. Um, What is this one doing? Oh, I see. Okay, so distance, 14 meters. How do I shorten that? Oh, okay. So 14 meters is the shortest piece. And then that's your height. Okay, okay, okay. So if I was to... 
extend it out. I've never built a ride in this game before. This will be my first time. Standard track station. Start at uh, stop start track allows a ride to stop for a certain amount of time before continuing. How do I make it go up? Stations in and out, okay. So you don't worry about going up at all, it's just a standard track. So banking offset, wow, ankle snaps. Terrain relative? What does that do? Sea level. Terrain relative, I guess. Attack and rotate. Attach and rotate. Uh, what? Dynamic. What is dynamic? I don't know what any of this means. Oh, it's the camera angle, Glenn. Oh, attached to the piece. Yeah, I suppose so. Um... Okay, so how do we turn? Do we use this? Oh, that puts our banking on the track. Okay. Okay. So yes, I've never built a track. I have no clue actually what it's like. I'm going to have to build this and figure it out as I go. Um, angle snap. Banking offset. Zero. Auto tunnel, yeah. Highest markers, track supports, camera. But how do I do a curve? When it's banking, how do I just bend it like Beckham? Do I. No, that didn't work. I want to make a corner. How do I make a curve? <laughs> can't be that complicated game <laughs> seriously what does this even do oh that's what I'm looking for oh so you click that and then you drag oh so you click that and then you drag no okay okay I think I'm getting it oh this is weird I tell you How do I get it to go straight now? Okay. Right. This is going to be jolly expensive, isn't it? I'll worry about putting detail into the track later when I know what I want to do with it. At the moment, though, I don't know quite what I want to do with it as such. <sighs> no, I don't want to come back this far. I don't want to come back this far. This is too far. Because I need to allow space for rides, stations, etc. So maybe here? See, at the moment I'm confused by even how this pathing works. Because, yeah, I want to go that way. No, see? No, 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 no. This way. The game's confused. It doesn't even know what it's doing. Um, can we curve this way, please, game? Thank you. It can't be zero degrees. Well, apparently. Okay. And in there, oops, we've gone way too far, haven't we? Way too far. Um,
Right. Just something very simple for now. As a transport ride. It's taken a lot of work though to get that in, hasn't it? So 2.7. Okay, actually that's not what I need. Cancel. Stop. Wait. Hang on. Come back. We need a station here. Station. Entry and exit. Oh, okay, so you can change it about. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Entry, exit. Station, entry, exit. Okay. So entry, right, exit on the right. That's what we want, isn't it? Is that what I want? I think that's what I want. I don't really know. No, it's the wrong one. So I want it left. Okay, so station. Entry and exit point left. Okay, that's what we wanted. And now autocomplete. It's going to look a bit ugly. Oh, okay. But... I can't do better than that, can I? So I can't really have the station here. I'll have to have the station over here then in that case. Okay. Because I was kind of hoping I'd have the station down here. Well, no, I just need to widen the uh, far end of it. Make the far end of it wide enough to allow for the station. Because eventually it's meant to go right out anyway. Oh, we're doing the wrong one. Zero, yes. Right. Can we go to the end and just start from the end? No, we can't. Okay, calm down! God, I'm clicking, so it's building. How far away is the edge of the screen? See, it's not that far. I might as well just do the actual ride that I intend to do eventually then. This doesn't look terribly straight either. What? I want it in line with this pathway here. Why did that just try and snap and then not <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? Where did I just go? Now, see, this is what I'm talking about by navigation sucks sometimes. Okay, so if that's the middle, we, why is the path going off to one side? Seriously. 
I have no clue. But for some reason, it wants to go off to one side. See, that is not straight game. It's really not. It's really not. It's coming from this end. Maybe I can get a straight line from this end. Game, I'm not even over there. Seriously. Oh, it won't go under the railway. Oh, I didn't even think about that, did I? How do I adjust that? I must be able to just delete this piece out, replace it um, with a bridge or something. Something will work. How do I do that? No, that will do the entire ride. I don't want to delete the entire ride game. Just want to remove part of the track. How do I edit? Um, how do I edit? Move. Toggle. Are you serious? I can't just cut a piece of the track out? I must be able to. What the hell? Where's my editing? Um, oh, edit track. Here we go. Far out. <laughs> now, can I not just take a piece out of the track? Yes, that. Just delete that. Back to like here. No, that didn't work. Editing track. Okay. Right, now. Will you let me do something along the lines of what I actually would like to do? Auto tunnel. Angle snap. Terrain relative. Yeah. Yeah. See, now you're going to let me go across. Now we're talking, game. wonder if that's high enough. I wonder if that's high enough for people to walk under. Hmm. I don't actually know. I reckon it might be, eh? Should we find out later on? <laughs> later on. <laughs> Twenty-two and a half that I'm looking for. I think so, eh? Twenty-two fifty, I think. Now zero. Is that a straight-ish line? Wow. 
It's not really, is it? So hard to get the angles and degrees that you want. Oh, that's a big difference, game. Seriously. 22 degrees, is that all you actually know? Like I say, I'll do the terraforming and things later on for this. At the moment, I just want to get this railway in. Man, I didn't put a station in where I want one. Hopefully, I can still do it. Oh, hang on. What? Standard track? Am I been doing the wrong track all the way? I freaking hope not. Um, what do I want? Left. Entry, exit, left. Yep. Where's the edge of the map? It's so hard to see. What happened? Curbed you and then you went back again. Not really what I'd envisioned. I'm having a lot more trouble than I thought to just do simple things in this game. I really am. That's pretty much along the lines. That'll do. At the moment, all that's meant to be is a transport ride. Oh, okay. It was finishing it. Okay, that took a bit. Wow, a lot more work involved in that than I thought. These stations are too close together. This one here is in the wrong place. What? Three, eight, and nine. That helps. That one? Okay. No, actually, I want to. I want to do the track. I think. How do I do the track? Yes. Edit track. Whoa. That section. To that section. And is it this delete? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
let's just delete it. Put a new one in. What? Okay, I don't know what it's doing now. It's just automatically putting it back again. <laughs> this game is weird. I tell you, it really is. It's weird. Okay, get rid of all of that. I just hit the auto completely. Smooth all. Done. Okay, this I don't like this along here. I really don't. Look how weird and wonky it is. I don't understand why it all ended up so weird and wonky. I really don't. Uh, problem is, you don't get your money back with all of this, so a lot of this has just been an absolute waste of money. No, game! This thief over here for crying out loud! Can we get rid of it? Stop winding me up all the time. Wow, this game is really good at winding me up, I tell you. It's like an expert at it. It's had years of practice, I think. <sighs> I can't do the station without the track. Okay. So why is the track not giving me a nice, neat corner, for goodness sake? So if I go autocomplete, what do I get? A freaking mess. All I really wanted was a straight line game. You know? Something that made it look normal-ish. It doesn't have to look great. It just has to look like it makes freaking sense. This game only seems to want to snap at weird angles. Is that any better? Yes, it is. Thank goodness. Uh, entry right, no. Entry exit on the right. No, it wasn't supposed to be left. Oh, I don't even remember. Yes, it's supposed to be left. It'd be nice if you could see it. When you place it here, if you could see the, the box like that, it would help. Right, it's still not anywhere near what I had in mind. But I really didn't think it was going to be this complicated either. had such a simple idea in mind.
Um, Oh, can I not change the name of each station? I thought I was going to be a change each station. Um, let's see. No, that's changing the ride itself. Not the entrance name. Can I not change the entrance name? Station 3. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Station two is what it's supposed to actually be this would be station one station three Okay, that's working. Okay. And that's station one, please. Place in trance. What? To open a ride you need... I tried placing the button and you won't let me game! Okay. Station one. Place... What's wrong now? Oh, it is on the other thinking side. I still got the sides wrong. Because I thought with the ticket box being on this side, this is the side the entries and exits were on. So therefore, they're all now incorrect. Oh, this game just pisses me off for stupid reasons. Absolutely unnecessary reasons. I should be able to just flick it over. Why is it so complicated? This better just work. Thank you. Unnecessarily complicated. Put the box or something there to indicate what bloody side it's going to be on and I wouldn't have had this hassle. Right. Oh, game! No, that's not what I said! Stop winding me up, please! I put both of the bloody entrances on the same side. I know I did. You're just trying to wind me up, game. Now I can't even seem to edit it. Far out. This game is really good at winding me up, I tell you. Entry exit on the right. Why is this one different? Uh, Lushy, hey, how are you, Lushy? Welcome, welcome. Glenn's getting a little wound up today. What is going on, game? They are not on the same side. You're just trying to piss me off. Entry right, exit right. Is this going to work? If it just actually showed the symbol... This would be so much easier. Now you've got it on the other bloody side. Oh, for God's sake, game. This isn't complicated. 
I want them both on one side, please. Stop winding me up. Wow. This game just makes everything unnecessarily complicated. Delete the whole fucking station. I don't care at this point. Delete it. Seriously, game. I said delete it about 12 times there. Wow. I don't understand why this is just making everything so complicated today. I really don't. Just delete it, please. We're going to do these again, one at a freaking time. And hopefully I'll get them right this time. Yeah, there's five clicks just to get rid of one station. Wow. Uh, more user-friendly interface. Definitely needs a more user-friendly interface. That would be marvellous. It really would. It really would. <laughs> it just, for some reason, this game really knows how to push every button I have. Last time I tried, this was about a year ago, and I quit. Because I got sick of the pathing. I got sick of just moving around the game. There were so many things that pissed me off. And I wanted to come back, because it could, this game has so much potential to be so creative. But it also knows how to push your buttons. For every element of creativity that was put into this game, there's about six elements of button pushing. Now, what side is what, game? Because I really am confused now. Entry left, exit left. Okay, so let's start with that and see what you did. Nope, we're still on the wrong bloody side. So we delete it again. See, why can't I just change it? Entry right, exit right is what I want. Now, is that going to work though? I mean, it didn't just five minutes ago when I last tried it. Now, exit on the same place, please. Oh, thank you. That only took like an hour. Wow. Unnecessary. Seriously. So this was, can I have my track editing now, please? So this was right, right, I think. Yeah, the user it's an interface on this game just, it makes no sense half the time. A really cool game, but the user interface is just absolutely freaking ridiculous. Size down a little bit, please. Not too worried about bearing buried. We'll sort that out in a minute. If the game will let me build. Right. No, we're not over there, game. Why are you bring this back over there? I know the track is not complete, but it's not complete over here, too. You're just really tiring me out today, game. You really are. Completely, unnecessarily. And now we're giving them stupid frickin' names again. Now, do I want the entrance 
Yeah, I want the entrances closer towards the center. And the exit? You're not going to give us an exit on this side, are you? Yes, you are! Oh my god, game, you're starting to amaze me! Okay, can we do the final maze? And then we have to renumber them all. <laughs> and how you been anyway, Lushy? Um, edit track. No. No, I don't want to be here! Just finish the track and stop pissing me off! Game, can we go over here where I want to be? You're a freaking wannabe sometimes, game. Yeah, no, last time I played this, I really got into it, but it just aggravated the crap out of me. And then I had this great grand plan not to try and get too carried away this time. Do things basic. Keep it at basically ground level. It's still not working. Still wants to try and aggravate you. Right. Okay, so can we name these a bit more sensibly, please? 33. I don't know where you see the other 30 odd, but I only see three. One. No. The station itself, please. Two. And three. That was a lot more complicated than any of it needed to be. Ooh, I can't believe, what have I spent? Two hours drawing a circle here and putting in one track. So for those who ask, is the game worth buying? Think about that. It's a really cool game, I really like it, but do you have two hours to draw a bloody circle and put in a track which I'm still not happy with? Because to me, that's just unnecessarily overcomplicated for no freaking reason. So that's what you have to decide. Is all that hassle worth it, in your opinion? Why are you now digging bloody big holes in the ground game? Sorry, no swearing. I'm just getting really frustrated. It's supposed to be flatten terrain, not dig freaking trenches. Tunneling is off. What is your issue? And now you didn't do it the second time. See, this is what I don't understand about this game. I place it the first time and it digs a trench. I place it in exactly the same manner the second time and it goes, ah, oh, no, no trench this time. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> it's just freaking bonkers! It really is! Oops, no. Oh, and it's not the pathing I want anyway. None of this is the pathing I want. Um, I wanted this natural path. Natural path. What part of natural path are we confused about? Okay. Yeah, that looks really natural. All of it. The whole freaking lot.
Okay, so that's all Q. Natural pathing, please. Yep, really cool game that is needlessly tedious and needlessly complicated. Its length is supposed to be one meter. That's not a meter. Anyway. That's the exit. So can we not do a natural path out of here? Oh, that kind of sucks. Down to there. Okay, we can do that though. Not exactly what I had envisioned, but... Glenn's getting a bit frustrated and he doesn't care anymore. Look how straight that pathway is. Yeah, I mean that's the, that's the real shame about this game. It gets to the point where you just end up really frustrated. You've got all these really simple ideas in mind, and then when you try to put them into the game, they just turn out to be unnecessarily complicated for no reason. Game, this is supposed to be 10 meters wide, not one. Come on, sort your crap out, please. Probably want the path around here. Oh, I can't believe how complicated this has been today. Right, a lot of work. That was a lot of work to do something so simple. I uh, went to the dentist butcher today. Need to lay down before all my numbing wears off. <laughs> oh no, I had to go to the dentist a couple of months ago. Yeah, I had to go to the dentist. And the dentist I went to was such a dick. I said something he didn't like, and then when it came to pulling the tooth out, he was so violent about it. He twisted it and yanked at it and he was not trying to get it out like he was supposed to. He was just being a dick because he didn't like the comment I made. He was talking about um, the Ukrainian war. And in my opinion, my dentist should not have brought up such a subject for a start. And then when I commented that if we had didn't have all these borders around the world stopping people from being able to live a life that they want to live and forcing them to stay in the same place and have, making them have to have passports and all the rest just in, in order to feed their kids, maybe we wouldn't have all these freaking wars all over the world. And he got really upset by that. Ooh, we need borders! If it wasn't for borders, we'd have all these immigrants in this country and they'd be doing my job! And then he yanked out my tooth and I thought, I can't wait till they arrive! <laughs> and as far as that's concerned, immigrants, doing your job, buddy! My last dentist was an Indian and she done a way better job than you! <laughs> So I can't wait for all these immigrants if they're going to do a better job than you, mate. <laughs> oh, that attitude just annoys me, though. People who seem to think they're entitled to have a luxury life at the expense of other people. No, I'm sorry. You can have your luxury life, but not at the expense of other people, in my opinion. 
in my opinion, people anywhere in the world should have the right to go anywhere in the world. So long as you're not a criminal in that country. So if you want to travel to New Zealand and you're from Mexico, or if, this is what I actually said to the guy. If they're from Mexico, Afghanistan, oh, wherever, I don't care. So long as they don't come here and start committing crime, I believe they should be entitled. But they have to register, and then if they start to commit crimes, then they can be sent back home. Australia sends their criminals back to New Zealand. Why shouldn't everybody be allowed and entitled to do that? In my opinion, if they're criminals in that country, send them home. But if they're not criminals and they're there to feed their family and make a living of the uh, make a living for themselves, then stop being so ignorant. Why do you deserve to live in a life of luxury while other people die in poverty? And that was my attitude to the guy. Different wording, but basically the same attitude. And he got really aggro and he just ripped out that tooth with as much force and aggression as he could. Because I pissed him off. Still say he's an ignorant ass. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I don't believe in people coming into a country and then committing crime and ruining that country. Not by any means. We have people like that in New Zealand too. But it's not just immigrants. In New Zealand, what we actually have a problem with is Australia sending people back to New Zealand who it claims are New Zealand citizens. But the truth of the matter is, a lot of them have never actually set foot in New Zealand. They were born in Australia. But because their parents were New Zealanders, or they weren't there long enough, or they were maybe six months old when they were on the plane. They're now called New Zealanders, and they get sent back to New Zealand. And it's Australia's way of dealing with their crime problem. Send them back to New Zealand, because they have New Zealand passport. Now, I don't believe in that, but... No, I don't care where you go. As far as I'm concerned... Should be able to go anywhere in the world you want. You should not have to have any form of government approval, etc. All you should have to do is behave yourself. So you maybe you have to have a visa, but you don't have to have a passport, sort of thing is what I'm thinking. So a visa basically permits you into that country so long as you're not committing crime. Whereas to me, I look at it that a passport is kind of like You've got permission to go to that country. Don't have to have permission. Nobody ever had to have permission 150 freaking years ago. You got on a boat and you just went wherever you want. And remember this country called America? Home of the free where they take your tired and your needy? What happened to that with the borders that they now put up and say you're not welcome anymore? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not really into that. I don't agree with having criminals either, but there is a line somewhere in between, I believe. It'll do. Way more complicated than this needs to be. Okay, so that has just taken me like three hours to put in a couple of shops, a circle, and a frickin' train that I'm not happy with. All of this will get changed later anyway, because I want to actually contour all of this around the back of the shops. And eventually it will get to the point where the train will weave through the rides and around the shops, etc. But this has just been way more complicated today than I thought. Way more complicated. It's boring having everyone the same. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I figure you'll still be laying the path when I wake back up in the morning. Yep, I definitely will be. Definitely. <laughs> A 
Okay. So, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but we're getting somewhere. Whew. Staff office. Where did I put it? Staff building. Okay. Now, these are all going to have to be centrally located. Where they can get to rides as well as everything else. So maybe the staff office goes here, and then you can go off to both of those two paths. Is that about where I want him? Because now he's roughly in the middle of both of these two paths. It may not be the exact middle, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and then we base the rides around this and down the main central chute now. Who knows? Next stream, I might even be able to turn the freaking rides back on or start the game because I've been in pause this entire day. Right. That's what I want. That's what I got. Well, at least it's close to what I want. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> okay, we can't do that. Okay. Right. And now that I think about it, this is completely out from what I want, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. I really don't at this point. Okay, so scenery it does not look like a train station to me buddy okay what about custom okay okay that's all for making our own stuff. The train yard. What does it look like? Okay. That'll work. Um. That'll work. That'll work. What I wanted to do, or what I have in mind, is to try and make it look like it's part of this railway. So I do have chunks that I'll be able to run off of over there. I need it at the same height as the rest of the railway. So let's try and get it flush. Where's the doodaki? There it is. There. There. That's pretty much flush. Right. And I can do something like that, and then put decorations around it. Excuse me for a second.
Turn the microphone on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to call that it for today. Thank you to everybody that's come in. I Apparently, I'm having a bad day. Even then, I didn't realize my microphone was off. So thank you, everybody that's come in. We're going to call that it. Um, yeah, if you're still watching at this point, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I think I'm a little tired and yeah, my brain isn't quite functioning. So thank you to everybody that has come in. Thank you, Lushy. Thank you to CJ for subscribing. Uh, thank you, Father Jack. Thank you, Arjun. Uh, Inside A Gamer. Crypto. And anybody else I may have missed, I do apologize if I've missed anybody else. Um, Hennington, 91920, 90210. <laughs> How are you, Hennington? Welcome, mate. Um, you missed it? Yeah, go back and check it. Um, not much to see today. What I would actually say is come and watch the next one. Subscribe to the channel, buddy. Catch the next one. We've done a lot of mucking around. I'll show you what I've done today. It's taken me three hours or so to do virtually nothing. What have I done? I'll show you while you're here. I drew a circle. <laughs> this took me a good hour just to draw a reasonable circle out of pathways. And then we put in three train stations. And we start to space our rides around it. Um, this is all the stuff that I've done in previous. And I'm going to be removing all of this. And trying to put it into my park. Using these new pathways. But today was a very wasted stream. But yeah, thanks for coming in, mate. Um, feel free to check out the next one. Subscribe to the channel. And hopefully next time it'll start to look a bit more productive. <laughs> you are subscribed? Okay, buddy. Yeah, not the most productive one today. Next week, though, hopefully we'll do a lot better. But thanks for coming in, mate. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, mate. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Thanks, Hennington. Bye. And if you're new to the channel, um, there might be something else that you like. YouTube will put something up here in a couple of hours. It's me from the Hunter stream. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Hunter Call of the Wild will be... When are we doing that next? Um, hang on, let's have a look. Why not show me desktop? Okay, I'm going to quit out of the game. Even that's, even that's causing me problems right now. I'm having problems with this game today. Hang on, we'll quit out. Um, number one, save, exit. Let's have a look. Um, just so we know when we're doing that next. Because I think that might be tomorrow. I think that was on the plan for tomorrow. If Planet Coaster will close, I can have a look. If Planet Coaster is not closing. Yeah, I'm having real problems with Planet Coaster today. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Hunter Call of the Wild is tomorrow by the looks of that, mate. Um, we've done Survival Found in the Use. Yep. Hunter Call of the Wild will be tomorrow. So maybe we'll see you then, buddy. And we'll check that one out. Uh, Hunter Call of the Wild tomorrow. Then we'll do House Flipper the day after that. And we're not sure what it'll be after that. <laughs> See you later, guys.